Hey, Lizzie was my nine o'clock. Sorry about the game, but we're gonna have fun tonight. Oh, Let me guess, another IT conference? I'm gonna be back in a couple days, Tom's. Hey, Mom, Dad has a work emergency, so can you come pick me up? I love it when you call me Mom. Let's throw a rager. What's happening? Please don't touch Superhero lair. Your dad's a superhero. What? No. My dad can't handle a hot wing. We got him. Whoever has this technology can do anything. Ah! We gotta save my dad's tech before they destroy the world. We got this. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Tickle torture me? Dude, that was too long! That was way too long! Whoa, whoa, don't you? I'm the IT guy. I was alerted to a security breach. Why couldn't you tell me about your secret identity? How am I supposed to say, oh, by the way, some alien power source chose me to be the guardian of the planet? It makes you sound crazy, right? Yes. Playtime's over, kids. Prepare for war. Warm. Yeah. So hot. You got the winter suit. After we survived Hurricane Katrina, we thought that we could survive anything. And we were wrong. They found 45 dead bodies there. Now, does that make any sense to you? I'm under a great deal of pressure to look into what happened. There were five days, the most ungodly conditions. We are getting all of these patients out of here. We are nurses, and we're going to get it done. we don't get left behind. We have to be realistic about the situation. There is nothing else to do for them except to make them comfortable. So what are we talking about? They asked me to look into the, the deaths at Memorial Medical Center. <laughs> the Attorney General's office is focusing their investigation on you. They're suggesting that some of their patients' lives may have been ended. I am sure that patients do not suffer pain. Some people were afraid of people outside of the hospital. But for me, it was the other way around. If you were given a choice between comforting a patient, possibly quickening his death, or abandoning patients to suffer a slow death, what would you choose to do? All I did was try to help people. That is all I did. What is he doing here? We found your daughter. She's alive. Be prepared for changes. We have a child therapist that she'll be working with. Four years is a long time. What she needs right now is our family. Mister? Sweetheart, it's mommy. Welcome home, Esther. We left it just as it was. It's lovely to be back. I miss my family very much. Our goal here is helping Esther acclimate back into life within the family unit. Sorry. I think something's going on with Esther. Is there anything you want to tell me about your time away? 
How's that possible? Four years ago, she was still drawing stick figures. Esther's behavior has been so erratic. Hello, Mommy. Thank you, Mommy. I know, Mommy. I did notice some inconsistencies. <clears throat> what are you getting at? To me, it felt like a performance. If you're not Esther, who are you? protects her family. No matter what. That's the story of... That's the glory of love. My name is Nan. Yeah. From London Town. What? You got a problem? Yeah. I'll take you down. Roll, Roll call. call. My name is Jamie. No. Why do you never talk about Auntie Nell? <laughs> I could take you, you know. What do I want to go and see her for? Because she's dying now. Good. Come on in. Hashtag road trip. Hashtag bench. She knows they've got two for one on Jaeger bombs. We'll stay here tonight. Where's my nan? It's like being on the moon, isn't it, eh? Are we on the moon? No, nan. I love your nan. Yeah. Don't you think we should be getting some rest? Now I'm hanging with me squad. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Now move on to the vicious killing of two girls who were camping together. This is an act of terror. You have made clear your objectives, and we are willing to help you achieve them. Are you sure you want to do this? <laughs> Murders. Our suspect is actively hunting down young men, <laughs> all misogynists who promote violence against women. It's just the beginning. Some people believe you have to do bad things to make the world a better place. <laughs> but everything becomes tainted. And I happen to disagree. with depression. Annie, Annie, honey, can I come in? But even as a child, I knew it was... Annie, open the door, please. More. Let me in, Annie! Let me in! Mother. My mother talked about hearing that voice inside. She said the voice didn't really want her. It wanted me. The citadel has fallen. Black smoke blots out the sun. Because as some of you may already know, we have a female student in the class, only as an observer. So, 
Let's descend into the mouth of hell, shall we? There are more possessions reported today than at any other time in history. So we must fight for every soul. To defend us in battle against the spirits of wickedness. Sister Anne, just enough to protect herself and others. This relationship she has, it's personal. We've been waiting for you. Your mother has a pretty voice. Once you know the devil, the devil knows you. Justin Grove has a program where they take all the top managers to Italy. Amber, pack your bags. What? You're going to Italy. You're gonna fall in love. Okay, I was kind of thinking that too. Benvenuta, signorina. Ciao. Welcome, everyone. I would like to introduce our CEO, Nick Martucci. Ciao, amici. He's my assistant, Kat. I'm excited to get to know you a little better. Get dressed. Okay. Oh. What roles do love and affection play in your life? Where is this going? I'm really happy you're here, Amber. I can't afford this. It's next week. I can't afford a prostitute. What? It's Okay. I'm a repository for Nikki's dirty secrets. <laughs> You seem so open-minded. Why does everyone keep telling me that? <laughs> Listen, I think something weird might be going on. Look, guys, Nick's in the study working. What is this, Clue? He's <laughs> killing Colonel Mustard with the uh, lead pipe? <laughs> This program sucks! Lighten up a little bit, please. What's up? Me again. Just being a tease. was true. He's here. love story ever told. Oh, uh, I, I don't like the sound of that. Think of it. The brain of a super genius transplanted into the body of a perfect physical specimen. <laughs> I want a man that makes my blood run cold. A man that every time he enters my crypt, it's like a stake through my dead black. I can whip you up a humpy down in the lamb. <laughs> <laughs>
no. Remember what happened last time? He was battered. I'm gonna go. Okay. I'm looking for a vision. A queen. True love. And what exactly do you want? Is Herman Munster in there? Uh -huh. I knew the moment I laid eyes on you that you were special. I understand if you don't feel the same. I'm just a regular gal living a boring, normal life. If there's one thing I know, is that the rest of the world melted away as soon as you appeared in my life. It seems Miss Lily is truly in love. Oh, come on, you know and I know that we gotta get rid of that bozo Herman Munster. <laughs> Transylvania! That's a strange way of saying hello. Oh, I guess we're gonna have to get used to it. <laughs> Shucky. New season premieres October 5th. the 300 issues of a comic book. Love it, like it, loathe it, whatever it is. You have to have respect for the journey that he's taken. Todd's a visionary. That guy literally came from nowhere. I didn't know it. When I bought my first comic at 16, I just went. I got 300 rejection letters. Todd started out as someone that was rising up through the ranks that wasn't embraced by the people running Marvel at the time. Every time I tried to do something, they went, you can't. You can't. So I can't do panels that overlap. I can't have appendages come out. I said, break the rules and make it look cool. They wanted Spider-Man to shine. They didn't want Todd to shine. There just become moments where I just go, if nobody's going to do it for me, I'll do it myself. Oh, yeah, I got this character. He's dead. He's from hell. And I'm calling him Spider-Man. Bond. It was completely unique. It was a game changer. So 1.7 million copies. Todd did for toys what he did for comics. He did it all on his own. It's Todd's brain. Success for the most part comes with a target. You can't be in the public eye as Todd is and not have people try to take you down. He nearly lost everything. Except I'm not going to get pushed around. I'm going to fight back. That's how Todd lives his life. What is the status quo? I don't care. This is where it's gonna go. I am relentless. I'm like a dog with a bone. I start corporations out of anger. Everything that he's done, it's it's always pushing boundaries. It's, it's always, always pushing boundaries. Have I seen the view at the edge of the cliff? On more than one occasion. Never give up. Never take no for an answer. They're gonna always try and say, it's not possible, don't do it. 
Don't listen to him. Todd had no fear, ever. Harold, I don't know what you think you're doing. Excuse me. Hello. Got a dead white man in a box. Not even a casket. Doesn't even have a top on it. In a pine box of old wood. Who do you think's gonna get in trouble here? Do me a favor. Try to be optimistic. You don't get here without things starting a long time ago. So, two soldiers and a nurse found ourselves in... Amsterdam. We formed a pact, and we swore to protect each other, no matter what. Tax the rich. We find ourselves in a situation where we're accused of killing someone, which is not true. No you and Woodman fled the scene. The killer pointed at us. We didn't do anything. Why would you possibly think that was us? Well, there's not too many people that fit the description of a doctor looking for his eye on the ground with his uh, black attorney. Columbia Law School. Love is funny. We need someone to help us to find the truth. My friend was killed because of something monstrous that he had seen. This is all turning out to be a lot larger than any of us. You're gonna have to take my lead getting out of this. I had to stab a guy. I had to hit a lady with a brick one time. What? It's a long story, but with you two, it'll be a cakewalk. These are dangerous times. You be careful. I'm about to do something that could cost me my life. The cuckoo is in the nest, and the cuckoo's about to be trapped. Cuckoo. finest innovations from Zurich. It removes all pain. Guys like me, we have to turn to booze, the morphine, and that can lead to addiction. Oh, that's fast. Mm -hmm. That's advanced. <laughs> My name's Honor, and you're gonna say I'm the classic overachiever. I started a school karate club <laughs> and the food bank for the economically disadvantaged while never letting my grades suffer. For me, high school is about getting out of high school. And I'm going to the number one college in the world. Honor, my best and brightest. I have a connection with the admissions people. I had no idea. I knew this in ninth grade. You are in my top four choices. Gee, I'm tuning the G-string. Wait, did you say top four? In this school of underachieving losers, there's only three people it could be. But only one is an actual threat. Michael Dipnicki. I've got to get him to tank his midterms. What's the plan? Hey, Michael, would you be willing to study with me? Yeah, sure. That's all. Sure. Easy. The first wave of my campaign? Throw the nerd off. What's the matter? We should probably get to work, because I need a scholarship. Yeah, you might break the tip off. They grow up so fast. You called him home? I'm not obsessed with him or anything. Time for the evening concert. Just trying to figure him out. Everybody ignores me, but you don't. Must be so lonely. Yeah, you get it. I do. I think I like him. But it's just another obstacle to overcome. I'll destroy anyone who gets in my way. Huh? Oh. Coming to my next show, I'm gonna call your mom, tell her you do drugs. I just feel like you're pretending. I don't want to hurt him, but I've got to play dirty. I'm gonna kick you! You remember I took karate, right? Something's wrong. Nothing's wrong. It's been a four-year plan, and it's coming to a close today. Внимание! Внимание! Граждане и гражданки на всей территории нашей Родины 
Фиксируются прорывы физических законов неясной природы. Неземная материя и чуждые существа вторглись в мирную жизнь советской страны. Замечено Внимание, 17 мая 1961 года на базе Московского отделения Академии наук СССР создан научно-исследовательский институт спецбиотех. Задача НИИ – изучение аномальных явлений, появляющихся в результате инфильтрации. Успешно завершена финальная стадия испытаний приручения биомеханоидов, появившихся на реконструкция памятников, видоизмененных под влиянием аномалий различия с участием дрессированных служебных арахнидов. Ученый Совет Института постановил опубликовать отдельной книгой ряд исследований и наблюдений, выведенных из-под грифа «Секретно особо...»